So have you ever like really contemplated like why are you doing semen retention? And, and just be honest with yourself. If you're doing it to get more girls and to make money and do all that, that's cool. But have you contemplated that? Because we want more energy, right? This is a common thing when you hear the videos made on semen retention and no fap, they're talking about getting more energy. Why do you want more energy? That's the question. What are you using it for? And I like to get down to like, what's the highest purpose of things? So we know at least what the highest thing is. Doesn't mean we have to do it for that reason, but at least we know the so-called like end goal. It's the highest purpose is to wake up spiritually. But what does that mean? So it's not just some kind of uh, cliche. Everything in life requires energy, including spiritual transformation and spiritual awakening. When we preserve our sexual energy, I made a video, I don't know if it got uploaded yet, <clears throat> it's about how the OGIS starts accumulating in this uh, collection tray in our brain. When that starts overflowing, then that energy can be used for get a good girl, money, business, spiritual awakening. How is that energy used for spiritual awakening? What's spiritual awakening? Spiritual awakening is waking up to our, you can say, highest nature, our cosmic nature. Nature beyond mind, in ego, in human self nature. That's a superficial nature. We're talking about our cosmic nature. How does the energy help help to realize that? This body, especially our subtle body that we can't see, our energy body, it has so much data in it, so many downloads. We can't get access to that if there's no energy. When the OGIS starts to overflow, that energy starts opening up, you can say, very subtle channels, nerve channels, certain pockets of, you can say, our <clears throat> wisdom starts opening that up. That starts to come through into our human consciousness, our brain. You can call those downloads, realizations. That means we're waking up. We're waking up to our true subtle nature. This is a different level of knowledge than if I study these rocks and I can tell you, well, this is a, this rock or that rock or these clouds, this is a cirrus cloud or, you see, that's, that's human knowledge. That knowledge is cool too. But we're talking about a subtle knowledge, a yogic knowledge, knowledge of like how creation's put together, energetic laws. Things like that, very subtle stuff. The OGIS helps to unlock those, uh, those channels that are normally closed in people. See, plant medicine does that too. You do mushrooms or some, some of these other things, <coughs> psychedelics, they open up those channels. The problem is you aren't allowed to keep it usually. The medicine wears off and then it's like uh, you're back into your own <laughs> habitual track. You might remember the realizations, but are they alive for you right now? Do they actually have some power? You see, usually after, after the medicine metabolizes, you default back to your normal <laughs> default human program. So when you're preserving your OGIS, it's not like that. You keep, you keep, you keep this knowledge. It, it's like assimilated in you. It becomes you. So this is the highest purpose for, for me when, I'm, when we're talking about semen retention. And I want to start talking more about these types of things. I have more energy to talk about those things. If I talk too much about the, <clears throat> the mainstream level of semen retention, like what are the benefits and female attraction and how do you get a girl and all that stuff, I don't know. It's like I don't have the, the energy to... Uh, Something's not inspired. I feel like I made enough videos on that. Those things are important. I'm not knocking them. Like on practical level, they're cool. I just feel like I made enough uh, videos on that now. So let's get into the deeper things because I want to uh, 
this segues into my my other my spiritual channel spiritual renaissance so you can go see that and then then this really works together then the knowledge i'm sharing now really ties into that i remember when i was in india and in rishikesh uh 16 years ago or something andrew cohen he was a, at that time <laughs> he he's like a what do they call it uh angel that falls from grace but at the time he would you know he was something and he wrote the book uh, uh, living enlightenment and I liked his book it's not that you see it's mixed like it's not like if somebody falls from grace that they never had anything no they had something but this is still some little ego and karma hiding in there that then later got exposed and then you fall right but then you come you go, you go back up quick too if you're smart and conscious and admit your fault and don't try to, you know, rationalize it away. So anyway, I read his book. I liked it. I, and then I called because I, I'd already, I had already been practicing Seamer Intention, you know, since, I don't know, 22, 23. Uh, I only lost my energy a handful of times in my 20s. And then I, uh, I stayed on track. <laughs> but the edging, that took a while. Anyway, I called, I called his off. I called his center because I wanted to ask them what they thought about uh, preserving your semen or brahmacherry and it all means the same thing and I remember I talked to like his assistant or something they're like well we don't really take a stance on that kind of leave it up to the individual I said oh really it's okay and I don't know I lost some respect after that I knew that they're they, you're not the real deal if you don't acknowledge or understand the importance of preserving your sexual energy, there is no, I'm, I'm making a video, all true masters preserve their sexual energy or something. There's no way, there's no way you're going to have an authentic awakening and maintain it if you're not preserving your energy. It's impossible. I've just, I've just shared how subtle this, uh, this, this process is like, it requires a very, a very, like, very fine level of perception, you can say, when you start to uh, really wake up to, to these subtle <clears throat> mysteries of life. It's, it's a very subtle perception that there is no way a dull mind can have. And you will have a dull mind if you're losing your energy. How are you gonna have a fresh mind? You're losing your most important energy. <laughs> At some point, this stuff becomes so logical that it's just, a, it's silly. It's comical to, to watch debates about it. How somebody says it just doesn't matter. Like they clearly have no idea what they're saying. This is beyond opinion. This is just what it is, you know? So this is what semen retention can do for you. It can give you access to this vault that most people don't have access to. They don't even know it exists. You, you, you walk around outside, everybody thinks they're this human bot. They have no idea of their true spiritual nature. If you tell, ask them, like, do you know you have a spiritual nature? They'll say, yeah. That's probably all they'll say. <laughs> they, there's no actual realization of what it is. So, so this channel is about those who have a natural instinctive urge and calling to recognize your true self this is this is this is what we use semen retention for and if you still have desires on the surface trying to fight that that's normal that's normal i went through that you find a way to burn these desires out to burn this lust out okay you can't just will them away just stop being their desires they're too strong so we gotta we gotta find a way to transform them work through that it's a process if you're 18 years old you can't be 40 overnight it's an evolutionary journey it's the same thing with this is you know and relax about it and enjoy the ride at least you're on it at least you're like on the ride most people aren't on it. Be grateful that you're on it. Trust grace is seeing you through it. Grace gave you the urge to be on this ride, this accelerated path to evolution. Don't you think grace is gonna take care of you? 
don't mind your mistakes so much. That's part of the process. There's, that's how you get the realization by making the mistakes. If you're smart, be conscious when you make the mistake, taste the, the vitamins that are in the mistake, and you learn from it and use it. Use it for to transcend. All right, be a real alchemist. I'll see you.